Co-op games with your friends can be one of my favourite things about gaming. It's the best feeling when something hilarious happens and you find yourself talking about it months or even years later. That's why I've put together this list of 15 cosy-ish co-op games that released this year in 2024. But without further ado, let's get started. Snowfolks released back in January this year and it's a small and simple game where you can release your inner child with snowball fights and snow forts. Build whatever you can imagine from houses and castles to bridges and forts, then run around throwing snowballs at your friends. I thought that this was very fitting considering we're already halfway through November and who doesn't love the magic of a snow day? Snowfolks has split screen co-op for two people or online co-op for up to six friends and it's available on Steam. Quilts and Cats of Calico has won over the hearts of plenty of players this year. It's a wholesome puzzle game with lots of cats and cosy vibes included. You need to sew together a quilt from patterned fabric scraps by combining colours and patterns. Customise your own furry friend with a name, fur colour and cute outfits. Attract adorable cats who have their own preferences for bedding patterns and enjoy the sound of their comforting purrs and relaxing soundtrack. Choose from solo, online or story mode and play with your friends or compete in multiplayer with strangers. You can play with one to four friends, either split screen or online. It's only available on Steam currently with verified Steam Deck compatibility, but they are working on bringing it to the Nintendo Switch and say that cross-platform multiplayer will be supported. Pathless Woods is a cosy open world survival game that released into early access back in April. Inspired by China's ancient heritage, you must survive the wilderness by utilising the resources the land provides. Grow crops using traditional Chinese farming techniques, harvest your produce and make some delicious Chinese style cuisine. However, be warned because you are under constant threat from raiders who want to pillage your hard earned resources. So you need to stay alert and defend yourself from their attacks. You can put your crafting skills to the test and construct a variety of buildings from wooden houses and bridges to beautiful pagodas with the essence of Chinese architecture. Pathless Woods is only available on Steam with very positive reviews recently and you can play with up to three friends in online co-op. Odd Sparks is an automation game that allows you to explore an open fantasy world. It released into early access back in April and has recently had a huge update with trains and trades. Discover adorable sparks who will craft and carry everything you could ever need. Solve logistics puzzles to farm resources to help your cosy village grow. Take time to explore procedurally generated worlds and find new resources hidden amongst forgotten ruins. Use paths with special tiles and countless buildings to design your optimal production line and unlock new customization options for your character which you can change at any time. I've actually played this and I really love the animations of the Sparks and I thought that the controls for mouse and keyboard were very intuitive. Odd Sparks is available on Steam and the Epic Games Store and has verified Steam Deck compatibility. It offers online co-op with up to four players officially supported, but it has been left uncapped, meaning you can invite as many players as you want, at your own risk of course. Farm Together 2 is a game that does exactly what it says on the tin, and it released into early access back in May. It follows on from the original game, so expect to be growing plenty of crops and taking care of farm animals together. Spend your hard-earned cash on expansions, upgrades and decorations and design your house interior however you like. Fulfill NPC requests to keep them happy and get rewards, customise your character and visit friends' farms. Farm Together 2 has both split-screen co-op for 4 people or online multiplayer for up to 16 players. It's currently available on Steam with verified Steam Deck compatibility, but it will be coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and possibly the Nintendo Switch for its full release. Baladins is a tabletop-inspired fantasy role-playing adventure. Play is one of five unique classes, from an imaginative cook to a charismatic bard, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. Wander from town to town in order to fulfil your sacred quest of entertaining the masses. Each Baladin brings their own unique skills to the table and you can improve your talents further by making choices and collecting items. It's fit for players of all ages and experiences, so roll the dice and choose where your story will take you. Baladins is available on Steam and it supports 1-4 players in either split screen or online co-op. 
Moving on to Messy Up, which is a hilarious game where pets destroy their homes to grab their owner's attention. There's a whole range of cats and dogs to choose from, each with different abilities and skills. Use everything around you as a tool of destruction and rescue your other pet companions if they get caught. Collect photos, qualifications, trophies and keychains as cute rewards along the way. You can play as either the pet or the owner, so decide if you want to defend the furniture or destroy it. Messy Up is available on Steam and supports up to three players for both split screen and online co-op. Worlds of Aria is another tabletop RPG where you'll lead your own D&D style party on an epic adventure to stop evil forces from taking over the kingdom. Collaborate or betray your friends and assess each situation together, deciding what choices to make. Play as one of 12 characters from mage to merchant, each with special skill sets, personalities and voices. Encounter magical creatures, NPCs and collect legendary treasures along the way. There is plenty of replayability and different endings to the story. Worlds of Aria supports up to four people in split screen, online and cross-platform play on the PC and Nintendo Switch. But the best part is only one person has to buy the game. Your friends can join you for free by downloading the Friends Pass, which I think is awesome. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, then please do consider subscribing for more content like this because it really does help. Anyway, next on the list is Tipston Salvage, where you'll attempt to operate a dysfunctional junkyard with your friends. Each junkyard is like a puzzle. You'll have to call in new junk, crush and ship metal, and pack the storage areas neatly with the correct type of junk. Communication is key, so it'll either give you some much needed bonding time, or it may cause some heated arguments. It released on Steam in October with verified Steam Deck compatibility and full controller support. However, it only offers split-screen co-op for 2-4 to four players, but you can download the demo to try it out before buying. Keep Keepers also released in October and is a mix of tower defence and base management. During the day, you'll unlock new weapons, streamline your production and upgrade your keep, so it's a good idea to plan your battle strategies for the upcoming fight. Because when nighttime arrives, you'll need to defend your base with unique weapons to target your enemy's weaknesses. Apparently the controls are simple, but the game is described as easy to learn and hard to master. Keep Keepers is available on Steam with full controller support and it offers split screen and online co-op for 1-4 to four people. Unrailed 2 is an early access game that released this month on the 7th of November. You need to collaborate with your friends to build a train track across a procedurally generated world. But the catch is that the train is running while you build, so you need to think fast to avoid a train wreck. Earn new rewards including character upgrades, train engines, wagons and extensions giving you plenty of options to experiment with. At launch, there are 5 unique biomes with unique mechanics and a boss to beat at the end. And if you're feeling competitive, you can battle against another team to see who can achieve the highest score. Unrailed 2 is available on Steam and can be played either split screen or online co-op with up to 4 players. If you're more of an escape artist, then InSync could be perfect for you. Shipwrecked on an island with your friend, you'll need to travel through rifts to other worlds where you'll solve a collection of escape rooms, puzzles and mysteries. The puzzles don't use language and instead focus on shapes, signs and colours which are all designed to be colourblind friendly. Turn wheels, pull levers and push buttons to work your way through the levels and escape the island together. InSync is available on Steam with online co-op available for two players. It has full controller support and mostly works on the Steam Deck, but the main issue is that you can't send text messages to your friend. There is also a demo available for you to download. Moving on to Towers of Agasba, and I've got to say I am really looking forward to playing this one. You play as a member of the Shimu people who are forced to leave their homeland decades ago. As a junior architect, it's time to reclaim your land and rebuild the villages of your once mighty civilization. Explore the beautiful open world and befriend strange and memorable creatures. You must restore the land by growing plant life, attracting animals, and working with the gods of Agasba to revitalize the land. Construct and decorate settlements in any way you like and watch them come to life as they're inhabited by other Shimu tribe members. 
craft weapons, armour and elixirs before venturing out into the withered lands and attempt to rid the island of this mysterious plague. Invite up to three other players in online co-op to trade items, hunt creatures and battle the withered as a team. However, I've recently found out that you cannot progress the main storyline together and that the co-op is similar to Animal Crossing where you can only visit another player's island. The team has said that they do want to bring full co-op later on, but this poses more of a challenge, so it will be some time in the future. Towers of Agasba has literally just released this week into early access on the 19th of November, and you can pick it up on both Steam and PlayStation 5. I can't wait to give this one a go. Of course, I had to put Lumer Island on this list, and I'm sure most of you already know all about it, but just in case you don't, Lumer Island is an RPG where you'll build your dream farm, explore the island, and master a profession of your choice. Start your journey with a humble caravan and craft, grow, and build your way to a beautiful home to call your own. Collect quests from the locals, leading you through ancient temples, mind-bending puzzles, and even dangerous spider caves to collect the hidden treasure that awaits you. There are seven different professions to pick from, including blacksmith, chef, and jewellery maker, with each one containing a unique progression path. I really enjoyed the demo for this, and I couldn't believe it ended on such a cliffhanger. Luma Island released on Steam with full controller support on the 20th of November and it offers complete online co-op for up to four players. Game number 15 is Pizza Panic and honestly it looks so funny and chaotic. You and your friends will become pizza delivery bots on a mission to race through the traffic and become the fastest pizza delivery operators in town. Sabotage your opponents and fine-tune your strategy with tons of different parts and customization options. Unlock skills and upgrades and experiment with endless combinations to find your perfect way of defeating your opponents. Pizza Panic releases on Steam on the 2nd of December with full controller support, and you can deliver pizzas with up to four friends in either split-screen or online co-op. If you are in need of some friends to play with, then you can always join my Discord and post in the Find a Friend channel. Anyway, I'm off to go and find some friends now, but thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.